Well, hello, welcome back. I have not uh, posted a video on this particular, well, I guess I did the other day. I added it to the playlist, but um, I wanted to get back onto the mental health and, and something that I've been doing that have, has really been so powerful in helping me. And it may not be for you. It, I'm going to talk about spirituality here. Some people resist it a lot. And um, so this might not be a video for you. Although, I urge you to stay till the end. I have no idea. I have nothing planned. I just decided I gotta make a video. So I guess it was about two weeks ago. I had saw a video that really just inspired me like great, great. And I was like, hmm, I need to start looking into this again. Well, um, so I know that there's like a trap with prayer okay because when you pray for something where is my book okay when you pray for something that you are needing help then you're just reinforcing what it is that's going on and it's continuing the the thing i learned that from jason Bashirs, and I, I i agree um i agree so that doesn't mean that you shouldn't pray though it's about being uh praying better Okay, I'll say better because I'm not going to say correctly because to tell you the truth, I'm no judge. Um, I'm just letting you know what's going on with me. And um, so as you know, I'm going through a very stressful time and I've been in depression for a few years. And I'm sure a lot of you have, you know, it's it, if you're on this video, you probably have been experiencing it to some degree over the past two years, two and a half years, um, maybe even longer, I don't know, but um, for me it's been about that long. So I decided I was going to get back into spirituality. Now I'm not a religionist at all. I don't, I don't like religion. Um, it's too judgmental and you know, we're all on our own path and um, one thing I've noticed, I hope this comes out all good because I'm just kind of like my brain's going to different places. Um, I'm hoping that you've noticed some of the realities that are being put in our face um, are absolutely anti-faith. And there are certain, um, there, there's a high demographic of people in a particular community in the Western world that are experiencing very high death rates with suicide. And if you look at that, I don't want to um, be too controversial here right now, but if you look at that, and you, I'm sure you can research that, find out what demographic is really increased in suicide rates and then I want you to think of it in a, from a spiritual perspective, okay? So, a couple of weeks ago, I decided, you know, I'm gonna start praying. Now, I had been praying an awful lot, especially over the summer. I used to do like morning prayer videos on the way to work and listen to that on my way in and stuff like that. Um, but even though they're beautiful videos, and beautiful prayers by people that, you know, are ministers or whatever, you know, it still wasn't having the effect that I know prayer can have. So then I learned from Jason Brashears from Archaics that we're probably praying incorrectly. And then a couple weeks ago, I came across another video that blew my mind. And, um, you know, I, I, attribute many of the depressive feelings that all of us are feeling right now over the past two years is directly um, orchestrated by a group of very nefarious individuals. And um, unfortunately, you know, what's happened is that we stopped knowing how powerful we are and started letting these things influence us. And it's easy to see how, and it's been a long process, you know, the getting all the women to work again instead of raising their children, 
that's a big thing. Um, there's so much to it. Just, just check it out. I'm not saying that we've always been, that, that we were perfect at any other time. We weren't, but we had values that were um, very powerful for our mental health. So, I saw this video and it exposed something in me about faith. And I was like, whew. So every time that I fall into despair, that is basically the devil's work. That's where uh, they want us to be. They want us to be depressed and confused and overworked and underpaid and freaking out and not pursuing our passions because we have to and we've got to do this and we got to do that and they really put kicked it into high gear when it came down to some of the mandates that happened over the past two years and it really sent all of us into a spiral across the world not just in the west um and I was also battling with the idea that there were a group of benefactors that were going to save us. Now, this is the really interesting part. Yes, there are a group of people that are benefactors that are doing work for us, to free us, to keep us from slavery, and to help us be happy again. But they can't do it alone. And when it comes to your mental health, it's really hard to be part of that amazing awakening if you're depressed. And that's what the nefarious ones want. So, push comes to shove. I find this video, I'm like, wow, I need to, I, I need to dig back in. And I need to do it not from a YouTube video where I'm listening to somebody else pray and it, you know, or whatever. I needed to start doing it for myself. So, hallelujah, I started praying. And this is how I'm doing it. Now, you give it a shot. It's up to you. Some people are really resistant. They've had bad experiences with religion. And I want you to try your best to put that aside. Put it aside. You are powerful, very powerful. And the, the nefarious ones want us to believe that we're weak and they've been eliminating our strength for thousands of years, one way or another. And it's just not true. We've lost touch with our, our abilities. Hey, that was like a switcheroo. Um, people were, were moving around in the garage and I just didn't want them to hear my video to you. So, um, this is me and my painted sweater. So, um, the thing is, is if, uh, you're, you're down and out, you don't realize the power that you actually have that has been granted to you, that you've been gifted with. This is the purpose of your life. And when you're overwhelmed with, you've got to work and you're overwhelmed with, you've got to pay these bills, all these things that have been suppressed. I mean, they suppress free energy. They really did, so <laughs> it's insane. Um, I'm gonna see if I can move you to a better spot here. Hold on a second. So, anyway, let's see. It's a good thing this is adjustable and I don't have to pull you out of it. I think that'll do it. I'll put you up on the generator. Hopefully it doesn't go off. It won't need to. I should turn that light off inside out. Anyway. <laughs> um, these things have been done to us meticulously and planned, and it's really ramped up. You've got um, your pornography in your grade schools, and that's depressing. And you've got uh, people that want diversity, but yet they won't see it any other way. You've got all sorts of insane things. So, so I decided I was going to start praying again, and I pulled. I, I went. I have a collection of Bibles. I used to have a much bigger collection. I love to collect Bibles. I I don't know why. I just love them. Um, and I know they're not perfect. I know that they've been altered. I know that they've had, there's a lot left out. I, I highly suggest you go get the Wisdom of Solomon. You can probably find it on the internet still somewhere. Print it and keep it. Read it. It's good. Um, the Book of Enoch was left out. That's really good. You should get that. 
Look for these lost texts that the, the churches or the religions did not want you to see. So, anyway, um, and there's a reason for it because there's a lot of power in those things. And it shows you the supernatural power that we actually have and are capable of. And uh, so, I said, how am I going to pray to make this um, something that we're the great creator actually hears me and actually puts me in touch with the power that I have and so that I don't live in this low vibration anymore and I want to lift everyone up. So I thought about it and um, I went back to Jason Bashir's book, the, the Immortal Within, and I'm like, oh, you start with gratitude. Okay, so basically how I start is, now there's... I don't know if this rule is real. It could be fabricated by religion. I'm not sure. However, um, I haven't found contradictory to it, so I do follow it. And it's like, oh, Heavenly Father, I come to you through your son, Jesus. Or if you uh, know the real names, then use them. Like, dear, um, dear Yahweh, I come to you through your son, Yeshua. Or dear Jehovah, I come to you through your son, Jesus Christ. You know, there, there's a, you, you have to discern that for yourself, which it feels right. What feels right, okay? And then you, whatever it is, the problem that you're trying to find solution to, because I, I want you to know it's already been solved. You just have to tap into it. It's a vibrational thing. We've already been delivered. We have already been vindicated. We have already been, we've already won. But if we don't tap into it, we'll never see evidence of it. So... In the, the last video, I think I did put it on this playlist about rainbows. Um, I talk about a, a small miracle that happened. And it was actually a pretty big miracle. It's pretty amazing. Ah, oh, it's pretty amazing. So, I take whatever it is. And, and I especially found it difficult when I was trying to pray about this situation here at the house. That the, the, um, my mother-in-law has been heavily manipulated by someone that's very dark. And it's hard to pray for them, you know what I mean? It's hard to pray for people that are against you and are trying to harm you for whatever. Let's put you towards the woods. I, you never know what's going on out there. <laughs> so <laughs> so I said, how do I, how do I approach these subjects that I want to do? So I started praying. Um, and saying, you know, I thank you so much for softening my heart and opening my mind. I thank you so much for removing all the obstacles. I thank you so much, you know, and I, I start there, you know. Um, and to have faith in that it's done. Okay, and that's hard, especially when you're depressed. You're gonna, some of you are going to be like, oh, shut up, woman. I'm not trying to preach to you. I'm just trying to share with you something that helped me that may help you. That's what I'm trying to do. So, um, like for instance, I, I asked, because I'm a pretty good manifester. If you've ever studied the law of attraction or anything like that, um, law of attraction is interesting and it is real, but they, most of the people that talk about the law of attraction leave out the how-to. And that's where Jason Bashir comes in. That's why I want you to get the we immortals or awaken the immortal within. Because he realized, who. These uh, Law of Trekking people are really good at selling books. You know, and I, I get it. There's steps that are missing, and it's called action. <laughs> so, what's one action you could do? Now, things do come together for you, and I've... I'll tell you this. I dreamt about Wayne when I was 21 years old. I had not met him. I had not... I wasn't going to meet him for seven years or so. I'm pretty sure I was 27, 28 years old when I met him. Um, I knew what he looked like. Um, the thing, the car he drove was wrong, but I dreamt about him and I, I dreamt about this. This was a big thing. We would be in a kitchen cooking. We'd both be wearing jeans and bare feet. Um, I pictured us in button-down shirts that were, you know, casual. 
you know, not tucked in and casual. And having a surround sound in the house with like Led Zeppelin or something like that playing. And we're cooking and we're drinking Heineken's. Now this was a cue. Heineken's, when I met Wayne, that's all he drank. And um, I used to be so lonely for that person, like where is he? And we danced in the kitchen and I had this dream a lot. And then it went away. And when I met Wayne, I didn't recognize that it was him right away. It took me until 20 plus years after we were together and had separated that I realized, holy moly, that was the guy. And now I'm back and it's crazy. So um, it's a really beautiful love story. And it's, it's so sad that we've been through so many hard times, but you know what? The thing is, it's okay. So how do I pray for protection if I feel safe? How about just thanking, just being thankful for it being done? I really truly believe that God wants to hear you be grateful. And I truly believe that if you start to pray and thank him for all the things that you wish you had, because you have to know there are, it's already coming. The things that you believe are for you are already on the way. They're already in the works. And you can't open the door to see it if you don't believe it. You, you can't see what you don't believe. So, I believe that I no longer live in a depressed state. I believe that redemption and deliverance and restore, restoration are mine and yours. And I believe it for all of us. And I'm encouraging you to at least go there. Don't cry and wail. It's really hard to do, especially if you're still in the midst of a really dark time. You might see some more dark times coming up. Um, things are definitely shifting. I just want um, to encourage you to get your, your spirit right and get out of the depression because that's the devil, for sure. I want you to embrace the dark times, see what's bothering you, make changes that you need to make, and then pray and be grateful. You have the power. So um, that's it for now, I think. Unless something pops off the top of my head. Wondering if you'll see any of our forest people. Probably not. It's the daytime. But it's a really interesting world that we live in. And I, I want you to be kind of prepared for, you're gonna see things you never could believe could be done. You're gonna see a lot of deception. I want you to hold tight. I want you to, to be brave, because you should be brave. Because you've got everything you need. You just gotta open the door to it. So with that being said, I wanna tell you to please be blessed. And I thank God that you are. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.